My name's Tyler. I'm from Vermont. I came to Korea about 10 years ago for grad school. Hi, I'm Abby. Um, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and I've been here for about eight months. Uh, so currently in South Korea, we are experiencing coronavirus infection. And we thought we'd try to take this opportunity to speak to you guys about our experience here in Korea, how we've been dealing with it, how the country has been dealing with it, to see if maybe we can all find a way to get through this. You know, it, I think there's a little bit of like stress that you get just from the atmosphere. Like Seoul right. is normally such a bustling, busy city. Yeah. And right now it's like really empty quite empty quiet. yeah yeah i know everybody's really sort of like trying to dial it down like a few days after they were like wow this is going to be in korea is like a problem right. i landed in kimpo airport and they had sanitizer everywhere yeah everywhere and it was like wow okay that was fast yeah and there's actually like more and more of an effort on the government's behalf to try to right. like provide information where there is either lack of information or disinformation you know, for example, like like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get a lot of really good uh, signs right. out in the you know public spaces so that people have an idea of what's going on. Because the government is making data available to the public, now there's all these apps available where you can literally see, it's like mapped on your phone. Like what I've really enjoyed is being able to see the kind of like bar graphs that show our increase in infections here right. because it's a really easy way to see that we're kind of leveling out, like that things yeah. are under control, right. we don't have this wild, you know, uncontained spread. The way that you actually go about getting testing here is actually really not very hard. Like you call and you go get tested and they process it and then they let you know and these people, like you figure it out in the next 24 hours, you know, it's yeah. pretty fast. Like the drive-through kind of testing right. things yeah. that they had set up, those were so interesting. I've seen a lot of engagement with that online from like people in America where they're like, yeah. wow, like we should try this. This exactly. is really good, like really innovative. Really well, it would. We have so many cars <laughs> yeah. in the United States. It yeah. would be great. How have they done it? I'm joined live from Seoul by South Korea's Foreign Minister Gang kyung hwa well, the basic principle is openness, transparency, and fully keeping the public informed. As governments, we also have to guard against panic. I think governments have to be cool-headed about this and do what we do based on, on evidence and, and science. So it seems like based on our conversation, both of us are feeling like pretty good about the situation here in Korea, pretty comfortable. Yeah, I think, I mean, there was definitely a period of kind of fear, not knowing what to do. Now, I think we're definitely coming down off of that. And I definitely feel like I've reached a much calmer place. Yeah. Yeah. So just to, to trust that we're all sort of in this together and pushing forward, I think that's a really, a big thing that's going to help us and yeah. seems to be working here. While the situation with coronavirus is serious, we're already able to see that if we take proper public health measures that we can all stay healthy. So let's keep calm and do our best to prevent the spread of coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs>